Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss about chatter post action in flow. So basically you can post a chatter message on the record or the user's record page directly from flow. There is an action called post action. So we'll take a scenario and I will guide you step by step how you can create the flow from scratch to meet this requirement. For example, you can see in this opportunity there is no chatter post as of now. So I've created a flow in the back end which will post a chatter message whenever the opportunity is updated for example let's update this field and a chatter message would have been created it is actually annotating the person who is the owner of the opportunity and the message it contains is please forward the documents to this related to this opportunity and this is nothing but a hashtag you can put how you can put hashtag also i will show you in this video so let's go to our different Salesforce or where we will build this, build this functionality, similar kind of functionality to help understand what chatter post action can do. So let's go to flow. First of all, we will create a record triggered flow because that should be triggered every time my opportunity is created or updated or whenever we want that chatter post to happen. So let's create a new record triggered flow. Okay. we will select the object as opportunity and let's select the triggering point whenever a record is created or updated let's not put any filter as of now we will make the scenario more specific when to post the chatter okay so we'll put one condition actually in the beginning of the flow itself here so we'll put the condition as whenever stage equals closed one. Let's say in whenever the stage is closed one at that time only we want to post the chatter message. Not every time whenever a record is updated or created. Okay. So now we will use one post action is called post post to chatter action. Basically the name of this action is let's see what all inputs we need to provide here before we proceed with any resource creation or anything you can name this post action anything label and api name you can give as per your convenience here the first thing is message what should be the content of that chatter post so if you hover over that i button it will say the body of the chatter post here you can add the message along with tagging the person whom you want to address that message and as well as you can put uh, hashtags as well which should contain in the same input here then there is target name or id where you want that chatter post to happen or the either on the record page like on the just previously i showed like on the page here on the opportunity record page or on the user's record page for example if i go to any user suppose this user and you can see in, there is a chatter section under each user so whether you want to post that action here or on the record itself that is what it is asking target name or id so it can contain the user id the chatter group id or record id whose feed you want to post to okay then there are some optional things as well for example this experience cloud site id if you want this chatter post to be visible on the uh, experience cloud site which is nothing but website which is built from salesforce experience cloud then you can enable this option then the third option fourth option is target type this is really important because it will ask for suppose you select the target name as user so you have to mention mention here what type of target is that is it either a user or a group so if i enable that it will it will show the messages optional required if target name or id is set to a username or the name of a chatter group valid values are user and group only you can only put these two values so we need not to worry about this option because we want to post our message on the record not to the users page or chatter group anywhere 
we want to post that chatter on the record itself so we need not to worry about this so in order to provide input into this i will create a resource actually which will be my text template this will hold my entire body of that message let's name it as chatter body okay and let it let it be as view as plain text what will i type here is is will be the entire message that will go along with the chatter post so let's say hi and i also want to tag a person whoever is the owner of that opportunity i want to tag that person so how can i get the owner of that uh, opportunity dynamically is that trigger i can get that from the triggering record that is dollar record owner whoever is the owner of that record that opportunity which triggered this flow will be tagged along with the message saying that please provide the valid documents as this is closed that's it and in order to mark that person i mean tag that person you need to annotate that with this symbol remember this add the rate and enclose that entire id inside a square bracket here like this so this is my record id everything inside the curly braces and in order to tag that person with that id you need to enclose that inside a square bracket appended with add the rate sign so it, it is like add the rate square bracket and then the id of the record where you want to post that and in order to get the id dynamically i am using that dollar record dot owner id okay and in order to add the hashtag you have to mention it like this hashtag sign then again the square brackets and inside that square bracket the message the text basically which you want to be visible as a inside the hashtag so let's make it as one so this one will appear as a hashtag okay so this is my entire body that i will use over here let's name this as post okay so this is complete now where we want to post this chatter message that we have to declare it should be like the record the opportunity record that has triggered this flow on that record itself i want to post this chatter message so i will select the dollar record opportunity id here so since i am selecting the target as my record and not the user so i need not to select this target type because as it said if if the target name or id is set to a username or the name of a chatter group then only it is required okay so we are not posting this message to a, to any user or group we are posting it on the opportunity record itself let's make it done save this and we'll definitely activate this show as well activate now one most important thing before enabling this feature testing this feature what you have to do is you have to enable the feed tracking functionality in that flow for opportunity so there is a feature called feed tracking for each and every object you you can enable or disable so i have enabled feed tracking for my opportunity object this will make sure that you you have the permission i mean your org has given you the permission to and uh, put any chatter messages or make any feed messages inside the opportunity object so let's test this let's let's open one opportunity record it's already one i believe now oh, we can change the stage anytime let's make it as perception analysis oh no i did not change that okay but still it will work because i have updated the record and the stage is closed one so just updating the record will work we have not checked like previous value was not closed one something like that so see here is the chatter message that person also has been tagged 
this is the owner of the opportunity i believe let's see yeah he is the owner and uh, the message says as please provide the valid documents as this is closed and this one message has come as a hashtag so this is how our flow is working so basically we have only checked the condition whether the stage is closed one but we haven't checked whether previously it was not closed one so you can add another condition like stage is changed or else there is there are two bull, um, radio buttons over here which will also make sure if you select the second option then it will handle that situation whenever a record is updated to meet the condition requirements which means that whatever condition you have put over here if i just remove it and whatever condition i have put over here that will only be considered if that field's value has been changed from previous value so you can select this option as well this will also do the same thing like checking is changed or previous value is not same as the current value basically these are these are the two options let's go back and if i again save this opportunity being this being in the same stage then this time my chatter message will not be posted but if i change this opportunity from some somewhere to closed one suppose it was in proposal state should not have latest chatter yeah and now i will make it to closed one cool i should see one chatter post here it is this is the most recent one so this is how post to chatter action from flow works so this was our simple scenario it can be something different in your case but you should know how this flow feature works cool thank you so much for watching